Okay. Okay. Man, right before everything pops up, I get real scared. Uh, oh, and I didn't chest my mic. Thank God that's working. Anyway, good evening. Welcome back. Um, hello. I'm trying to stream more than once a month, I promise. Um, for the, you know, all of you that were wondering where uh, Cavern of Dreams is, it's going to be taking a back seat for a little bit. Uh, because I received a wonderful Christmas present from a very good friend of mine. Uh, this is Ebenezer in the Invisible World. Um, I saw this game pop up on Steam, like, late last month, early this month. Um, what if Charles Dickens made Symphony of the Night, is the question that this game asks. And we're gonna find out the answer. Um, first I'm going to click on the game and hope to god my controller works. It does, thank god. Um... So it was a funny little quirk. Um, whenever I change the resolution on this screen, it resets the cursor back to language, which was super annoying. And I'm not going to show you that. Just take my word for it. Uh, otherwise, option screen is, you know, pretty basic. It works. The vibration function turns on and off, which is nice. Um, the full screen is actually more like a borderless window. I can click in and out of it without messing with anything. Um, Otherwise, it all seems to work fine. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so Ebenezer in the Invisible World. Um, we're going to try and beat this, hopefully before Christmas. Uh, hopefully by the end of this month. But uh, yeah, that's... Uh, I, I I don't know much more than y'all, I promise. It It's it's a Metroidvania. Ebenezer Scrooge is the main character. I believe this is supposed to take place immediately after the events of the book. Uh, the book that I have never read. I've seen plenty of adaptations. Uh, Sir Michael Caine and the Muppets is the best one, in my opinion. Though, uh, Patrick Stewart does a really good one. I should try and watch, watch the Patrick Stewart one again this year. Yes, that's right, Desmoday. This is the canonical sequel to Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it started. Oh, four profiles. Interesting. Did a little bit of audio testing, let me know if I'm too loud or if the game's too soft or anything. Okay, I did half expect, uh... Something's gone horribly wrong! Oh, yeah. Damn it, I should've been reading. Sorry. What sort of help could've... Di wow, that was quick. You familiar with the... Wow, stop it! I am not hitting the skip button, I swear! What rich industrialists... Fortunately, there's more to them than that. On with it, spirit. I haven't got all day. Tell me your story. And so I shall. Let me tell you the story of Casper Malthus and the Malthus family. Guys, slow the hell down. Malthus family has always resided in the shadows of London high society, a truly heartless lineage whose view of downtrodden London is a cancer that would spread until a means of excising it could be found. While such cruel machinations have always existed with the rise of modern industry, such members of the Malthus family found a new age was soon dawning where the solution could present itself. Driving this new rhetoric was Gaius Malthus. He seized upon the city's industrial expansion and turned their family from mere aristocracy into an empire of industry. His factory swelled with the poor working people of London. He offered these workers horrid conditions and little pay in exchange for their backbreaking labor. All the while plan all the while he planned for a day where he could rid the world da -da -da -da. However, cruelty is a flame that burns one's candle twice as fast. Guy has died suddenly, and I dare say we are all of us the better for it. Truly, he was ahead of his time, this guy. The death of the Malice family patriarch commanded their empire fell to Casper Malice, his only surviving son. Casper was a dear friend from my mortal youth, who I remember as a happy and joyous boy who loved the world around him. I hope that he could choose to take the Malice family in a new direction. Unfortunately, I was wrong. Working conditions worsened and the cruelty of the Malice family continued. Those M's stitched into their clothing. 
However, I refuse to believe that Caspar has gone so far down this path that he could not be redeemed. It was one year ago tonight, Christmas Eve, that I paid Caspar a visit. I appeared before Caspar much like Jacob Marley appeared before you and warned him that the heavy chains forged from his own cruelty would condemn his spirit forever. To avoid his fate, he would need to set himself on a path of redemption. It would come as no surprise to you, Ebenezer, that Caspar was already visited by three spirits that night. Each in turn showed him memories of his past, scenes from his present, and events of his potential future, all with the purpose to put him on this better path. And these three ghosts are working overtime. But of all the images that Caspar was shown that night, it was the ghost of Christmas yet to come that had the most profound effect. I think that's usually the case. Caspar was shown a decrepit old man locked in his study and resting on the mountains <sighs> detrides of failed designs and con concepts refused yeah got held up on that word Caspar could feel the vast emptiness within the massive halls of the man's home and knew he had been alone for a long time whoever he once was he now only existed as the architect of some obsessive project it was then that Caspar began to recognize the room, the portraits and books on the walls, and the familiar features on the old man's haggard face. He was gazing at a visage of his future self. But the ghost of Christmas yet to come hadn't brought Caspar here to simply gaze upon the man he could become, but to witness the man's ultimate triumph. Caspar had achieved the Malthus family dream, whether it was a power source, engine, or some infernal mechanism, I cannot say, but I do know it was the catalyst that would sev sever the workers something. In the midst of the old man's jubilation, the ghost of Christmas yet to come raised his finger and pointed at this frail future visage, not wanting Caspar to miss a moment of what came next. The old man's cries of exaltation would be his last. This moment of excitement after decades of despair and neglect were too much for his worn heart. Caspar watched his future self begin to die before his eyes. Caspar's eyes soon withdrew from the old man. He watched instead the device, the culmination of his life's work, his family dream, fall from withered hand and shatter on the floor. At that moment, Caspar and his future self both saw that everything they had spent their life pursuing, every sacrifice or cruel and heartless act, would all amount to nothing. They would die alone, unloved, and forgotten. With that, Caspar had returned to his own time, in a state that I perceived to mean that he had been profoundly changed by the ordeal. I left him so that he could contemplate what he had just witnessed. But instead, he decided he wanted to make the cool murder machine. I felt confident that he would see the lo lonely path his life was on and make the changes... However, what I did not foresee was that there was another visitor that night, one who did not want to change Malthus Pass, but set it in stone. A dark spirit emerged from the shadows and confronted Caspar, laughing at the silly images the Christmas spirits had shown him. Let me guess it was Grandpappy. Caspar pled to the horrifying intruder that he did not want to meet the same fate with, uh, that he witnessed that night. The dark spirit smiled and reminded him he only had been shown a possible future, one that now need not transpire. Yeah, that's Grandpa. Dad, not sure. He told Caspar that the Christmas spirit had carelessly presented a new opportunity for the Malthus family. Caspar had been allowed to observe the workings of the old man's future device. With this knowledge, he could recreate it in the present. He was told he could help create the world that his family had always wanted. He need only be strong enough to put aside silly something-something. With that, Caspar turned his back on a better path. A year hence, and he is almost finished using this unnaturally gained knowledge to bring himself to the precipice of his family's ultimate dream, to crush the poor workers of the city under the gears of industrial progress. Yet, despite all of this, I remember my old boyhood friend Caspar, and I cannot bring myself to believe that he is beyond the hope of redemption. Now you know my story. I need a mortal to help my old friend find redemption before he is beyond salvation. The Christmas spirits will not come to my aid a second time. It is up to you to find the pieces of the Caspar's past, present, and future and convince him to choose a better path. That was a weird cut. Okay, I was not expecting so much reading at the beginning of a video game based on a book from the 1800s. That's probably my fault. You're right, Desmo, the art is nice, and the hairlines are quite receding. 
Uh, if there is a pathway to redemption for Caspar, it will weave through the people in his life that meant most to him and knew him well. That's all well and good, but even if you knew Caspar Malthus once as a good man, that was some time ago. How can you be sure that such a person still exists? Ebenezer also looking younger than I've ever seen him portrayed. I confess I am not well informed on the metamorphosis that transpired within him. It is imperative that we unravel how he became the man he is today. Caspar kept a journal in the London Observatory, secreted away from the prying eyes of his father. That journal is still there. It may help us understand how he drifted so far from how I remember him. Why would he keep a journal in the London Observatory? Gallivanting as a spirit's lackey was not how I intended to spend my holidays, but I suppose in all fairness I too was once a man that had lost his way. It took the esteemed presence of my dear friend Jacob Marley to set me straight. You know, and some ghosts that scared you to death. Very well, spirit. I will find Caspar's journal. Thank you, Ebenezer. I must exercise the utmost caution tonight. Caspar has already put into motion his plan to displace the workers of London. Workers are protesting, and soon there will be a standoff between the protesters and the Malthus private guard. The guard has been deployed to, de to patrol the streets, no doubt eager to showcase their mettle to anyone sympathetic towards the plight of the workers. So, amidst this cacophony of mounting chaos, you expect me to venture into a whirlwind of further disorder and confusion. I must say, Spirit, your timing couldn't be more inconvenient. Well, Marley, I made it, despite your directions. Okay, so... Old Ebenezer Scrooge, ever the spry old man, has one hell of a jump. Dude can jump two frickin' pianos high, maybe three if you close the lid. Uh, he's got a single attack, a single jump. He does have a back dash. Okay, yep. You can't have a Castlevania, uh, Metroidvania without a back dash. Careful outside, sir. There have been protests recently. Yeah, yeah. That's right, Desmo. A 60-year-old man must save Christmas again! I'm curious if there's a canonical age for Ebenezer Scrooge. Bessiewig, how pleasant to see the bright face of my former employer. Hello, Ebenezer. You have made much of yourself since you worked for my company. I am here to provide assistance as you advance in your quest. Thank you. I'm very grateful. There has never been a limit to your generosity. Oh, wow. It's even got PS... Well, I guess that's a PS4 touchpad. Either way, press the touchpad to access the map. London's a big city with many places to explore, and the map is essential to making your way through the city. Yep. That sure is a map. Ebenezer's Mansion. Let's see, we got location, we got doors, we got unexplored doors, we got save room, ghost train room, health upgrade room, mana upgrade room, and a shop room. Interesting that health and upgrade are a whole ass room. Or health and mana upgrade are a whole ass room. Fezzy <laughs> Wink does look like he's straight out of the big and the beautiful. He's the other version. We got some spectral monies. Okay, yeah, I can just break shit. I got some red berries. Can I learn what the red berries do? Uh, I'm guessing heal 10, a handful of juicy red berries bursting with flavor. Eating these berries can restore a small amount of your health and help you push through to the next challenge. Got some quests. Stave 1. Okay. I don't like that the thing doesn't loop around. Redwood cane. Bedlam Asylum? Okay, this is gonna require either like ledge grab or double jump or something that does something with this green ghost thing. Okay, we've already got our first little Metroidvania stop. Grabbing them berries and them monies. Fuck that snowman.
Is that Tiny Tim? That sure is Tiny Tim. All right, Ebenezer, it is Christmas time again. Thank you for your kindness this year. You have truly changed. You're welcome, Tim. Tell your father to be back at work by nine. So many in this city are in want of work without a penny to their name. How soon will it be before they perish of hunger? Thanks, random dude on the street. Mashed potato. Who's keeping mashed potatoes in the lights? Who's keeping mashed potatoes in the gas lights? Affluent bourgeoisie? Yeah, no, I think I get it. Tiny Tim's a level 3 cleric? Damn. I can learn a thing or two from Tiny Tim. Give us back our jobs. Hey there, Eric. Ebenezer, the protesters just ahead. Uh, the protesters just ahead is in peril and requires aid. Can you intercede on my behalf? Sure. Hmm. Oh, Leslie. Please don't. I surrender. You there, cease your unwanted assault on that man this instant. Yes, yes, he may have committed his fair share of transgressions. He has clearly surrendered himself, has he? You and your friends are not but the surplus population except your fate, you pitiable swine. Ooh, damn. You're next, old codger. Dodge enemy attacks using the back dash. Okay, there's some iframes on that back dash. That's nice. Can I hit him? Yes, I can. Okay, touching him does deal damage. That's good to know. Mock my words, this shell. Guys, look. I don't know what language this was originally programmed in. I kind of think it's not English. Need more time to read. Double it. Double it and we'll be pretty good. Thank you, kind sir. Let me help you home. No, I'll be fine. You need to find a safe haven for... Warren Gastrel's a merciless fellow, and you are in grave peril in this presence. He's not just neut neutralizing protesters with the mouth as private guards, he's hunting anyone involved in the protest. Now they'll come for you too! I am aware of the pressing need for self-preservation today, thank you very much. Yeah, you know, neutralizing. That's what the private police do, they neutralize. The goons, as, uh, as the science say. Eric, why, oh why, were you utterly useless in extending aid to that man? Are you content with being a mere specter, an impotent bystander in the face of distress? Ebenezer, while you can see spirits and intervene in the affairs of mortals, I cannot. I wish to aid that man, but like all spirits chained to the mortal world, I am prevented from acting on that desire. However, since you helped that man on my behalf, I should now be able to come to your assistance when you need it. Okay, I got Eric Fellows as a summon. Yep, that's a magic attack. Ebenezer requires spirit to summon attack ghosts. Regain spirit by hitting enemies with the cane. Alright, let's go find the London Observatory. Oh, he's got a shore you. Okay. far side of the city's old Jonathan Bedlam Asylum. I've always had a feeling there was something strange going on there, but I could never prove it. It's a dangerous place now in any case. You should stay away for your own safety. Ooh, a whole ass turkey just sitting out here for me? Don't mind if I do. Keep breaking shit. Okay, so we can down jump to go to uh, the London sewers. Blackwood Cemetery and the Asylum. You see that ghost down there? I don't like this. Hmm. Hey, it's that. Oh, look at you with your range. Toss. Are you gonna stay down? I hope you don't get up. Why does the the London sewer have these weird little trapdoors? Anyway, we'll come back to the sewer. Oi! 65, okay. And Eric does a lot of damage. Hey, what's up, Fezziwig? Forgive my intrusion. You do not need to apologize, Fezziwig. You are a great help. 
you continue right, you will find a save room. A save room is where you can save in a room and replenish your health and spirit. Look for the sign with the feather pen. Every save room has this sign nearby. Thank you, Fezziwig. Ah, it even says save room. How nice. I was wondering if it was going to be save room or automatic save. Uh, I don't remember it saying auto save, so... Yeah. We truly are Symphony of the Nighting here. Can you go through walls? Yes, you can. Okay. There's another little ghost ball. There's probably going to be some upgrade to interact with those at some point. Ah! Hey. No, ma'am. Give me those light potatoes. Yeah, light potatoes. Yeah, seriously. Ghost to Christmas double jump cannot get here quick enough. Why is that? Hmm. What's up, lamplighter? Gatano Lagroso? You there, Ebenezer, stop for a moment by my lamp flames. How do you know my name, spirit? I know much about the people of London, and most would prefer I did not know it. Ah, yes, I do recall. remember you, Lamplighter. You were quite the town whisperer, quite proud of your gossip. Yes, proud then, but not now. I lead my flame to catch your attention. I need your assistance. A journalist, Salvatore Garcia. He's writing a story about the accident in the Maltus factory. If published, it will shine light on the dangerous working conditions across London. He is delivering his article tonight, but I fear with the unrest on the streets he could be hurt or injured. No escort will be required. I only need you to ensure his path is well lit. Snow has covered many of the street lamps along his path. Clear them off. I'm happy to help, but I do not make an imposing escort. Cool, I've got a quest. Go light some lamps. Why can't you light the lamps? You lit with these lamps. Ah, I gotta knock the snow off. Ma'am? I haven't seen Phoebe today. I'm worried about her. Okay, bye, Marianne. Oh. Hello, ghost child. Buster Bailey. You, I know you. You're Ebenezer Scrooge. You're that rich, miserly old man that yells at children for laughing too loud. You made my friend cry. Yes, young man, I regret to say this is so. London has been generous with the laughter of children, and I found it quite a bother at the time. I'd like to make amends as your friend nearby. I would like to apologize. Baby's in trouble. She snuck into the building to the right, looking for food without realizing it was occupied by Malthus gods. Now she's trapped and scared. Can you help us, sir? This nice lady here, Marianne, can take her to safety if you can find a way for Phoebe to exit the building. Of course I will help. I will find Phoebe and help her to safety. Okay. I want that chest up there. That feels kind of bad, just beating up a male ghost that's not doing anything. He did drop money, though. Some lamps are important and need to be lit. Other lamps are not important and can be broken. Okay, so we're gonna get whatever's needed to interact with these real soon because now I can't go back. Hm, I think I found Phoebe. Ah! Oh, yeah. Forgot about the back dash. Okay, wrong way. My bad. Okay, so you do block. Hmm! That guy hits like a truck. Okay, well... Uh, it doesn't seem like we've lost anything. I guess whatever we didn't have before we saved.
curious if it's gonna make me talk to those people again. Dang it! Jump right into that one. Almost forgot about my summon buddy. Am I gonna have to talk to Lampy? Yeah, I think so. I don't think this game saves anything that you did not save at the save room. Yes, I'll help you, friend, child. Buster Bailey. Yeah, it definitely is uh, one of those kinds of games. I don't know. I don't want to say it's like bare minimum or like low effort. That's not fair. But it would be nice if it saved some things without having to save. All right, let's try this again, but with less dying to guards. I actually kind of don't like that the backdash gives you iframes, but you can't, like, it's always back. Oh, of course you block that. Yeah, get him, Mark. Eric, I forget what your name is. Hello, small child. Ah, uh, achoo, achoo, oh no, I hope the Malthus gods didn't hear me sneeze. Your name Phoebe, did you know a boy named Buster? Oh dear Buster, he was my best friend. My mother said Buster and I were to be married when we were of age. That's weird, we're gonna overlook that. Right now, dear child, I will help you get out. Hey, Buster. Marianne is close by and she can take Phoebe to safety. There's, there's a lever just above your head that will open this door. I can help you get up there so you can activate it. Alright, we got Buster Bailey. Press square and down to do a little... Okay. So Buster lets me jump on balloons. And he gives me a down slash. Got it. Yes, Ebenezer Scrooge is great at igno ignoring sadness. He spent a good deal of his life learning that skill. I'm going to turn on my fan. It is a bit, uh... Ah, it's a bit warmer in here than I was expecting for how cold it was a minute ago. Luckily, it shouldn't mess with me too much. There we go. Baby, are you okay? The house is dangerous. I must get you to safety. Yes, I'm okay. I'm so happy to see you, Marianne. Please, let me leave. I'm so scared. Can I? Okay. Thank you for finding Phoebe. She was my best friend in life. With your help and Marianne, Phoebe is safe. I'll join you in your quest, Ebenezer. Thanks, Buster. Use Buster Bailey's ghost power to continue to the London Observatory. Hell yeah. Yeah! Okay, you don't get any extra jump power. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any extra jump power anywhere. Definitely don't want to hit that. I wonder if I can hit those grenades back. Nope, they just explode. Good to know. Hmm, double good to know. Ooh, a cold boiled! I don't know what that is. Cold boiled. Uh, made from beef or mutton that has been boiled to perfection, this nutritious and restorative dish can help adventurers stay on their feet during long journeys. Okay, so I guess it was just beef that at one point been boiled. Got it. Uh, I don't see a way for me to get up there, Buster. Okay. Do I need a different child ghost in order to double jump? Maybe. Hey, boiling food is a British delicacy in Britain and places that were once occupied by Britain. You know, most of the world, half of it. Is that another ghost? Hey, ice skating ghost, get out of here. Stop ice skating. Ma'am? be honest, I'm not really going to bother too much with these people on the streets. Screw that lamp.
Okay, but why do I have to fight the ghosts? Are they evil? Do I not have to fight the ghosts? No, that one definitely hurt me. Teleport mirrors? Teleport mirrors that I can't interact with and a sliding area I can't interact with? Got it. Oh, that's weird. He jumps up into the ceiling of these stairs. Alright, the ghosts don't respawn, that's good. Nothing else here? I guess not. At first I thought, oh, maybe I can go down, which is, like, incredibly outdated game design. Don't do that anymore. Uh, but it seems this is a comeback later place, and now we gotta head left, because I don't believe I can continue up anymore. I can break this shit all across London. I really don't like that it... I have to drop down to the ground in order to screen, screen transition. Just let me go. Just let me Mega Man it. Yeah. Yippee! Ever respawn? Hmm. When's the last time I saved? Ah! Three hits. Okay. Mugwort? Ember coal? I probably can't eat that, so what's a four? Spirit Kids! Why is it specifically Spirit Kids? I don't like that. That's a ton of heirlooms. Yep, healing items. Quests, ghosts, Eric and Buster. Oh, Eric gets additional effects if I kill things with him. Got it, good to know. Enemies. Mm. What are those items that I picked up? I picked up, like, mugwort, herbs, upgrade materials, okay, and minerals. Okay. I mean, yeah, you're right, Desmo. There are a ton of dead children in 1800s London. Industrial, pre-industrial, post-industrial. Not entirely sure what to call this time. It's just some mashed potatoes, I guess. Now, die, you lamp. Okay, that is not a platform. Tightrope walking ghost lady. Mail carrier guy again. More mashed potatoes! Oh no, is that a child ghost? Is that, is that the ghost of a toy? What are you? No. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Yeah! Ghost powers. Oh, they move. Are you telling me that Jack from Jack in the Box is some sort of vengeful spirit just trying to fatten America and take our money? Okay, thank god there's another save. Uh, okay, there's the map. Let's go back here since it looks like that's a dead end over the right. Okay, now you respawn? Does using the save room respawn the enemies? I guess so. Here. Yes. What have we got in here? Oh, some wadi sand. Special. Yep, got it. Cool, got it. No jack the boxes. I'm not looking at that anymore. Makes me sad.
Man, I miss the ciabatta burger. When are they gonna bring that back? I think I'm more of a brioche man than a ciabatta, but like, ain't nothing wrong with a ciabatta burger. Yeah, the ghost powers right now are definitely the like, hey, that's your kill stuff button. Um, Kane is just like, garbage. Much too early to meet a friend in my pocket watch. Oh yeah, whatever your pocket watch. Two hits, got it. Oh! Hello, apothecary ghost. Casimir. I am Casimir. If you are looking to increase the ca your capacity for health, I can help you find it if you... I can help you find the rare items I seek. Okay. Come back when you have found more items. So I need three mugwort and two wadi sand. Okay, so I need one more mugwort. Interesting. Okay, so yep, this is the health increase room. I'm guessing she unlocks the door so that I could go get the health upgrade. Interesting choice. Oh, the guy respawned? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what the rules for enemy respawn are. If my head is blocking the door icon, that kind of sucks. I do believe it was. Hello, ghosts. Get off me! Are you damaging me, or are you just annoying? I can't tell if it's damaging me while it's gnawing on my ankles. Sure is a big city. Ha! Ah! Dang it. Walk right into the... Hey! Stop that! Let's get some cold boil ready. Can I use... Okay, I can. Use this. Hello there. Oh. Let's backdash the wrong way. Get him, Eric! Hannibal's Satchel attracts nearby gold drop by enemies. Okay. Thanks, Hannibal. We're not reading that right now. Okay, so we got our first heirloom thingy. There was a path. Oh, yep. Okay. I feel like this city is a bit bigger than it needs to be for how empty it is. Get him, Eric. Ooh, there's our other mugwort! Okay, we should be able to get a health upgrade now. Hmm, oh thank god I didn't die. that cold boil. Okay, that was quite a bit of health. Am I stuck down here? Oh, so he does have a ledge grab. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, the relic system is also kind of like uh, um, Hollow Knight, I think, except that I can equip them anywhere. But you're right, Blasphemous is a good Christian game, perfect for the holiday season. Uh, if I didn't have this, maybe I'd stream Blasphemous 1. Hello, time lady. Saki Toke? Tell me about how this Japanese lady is in 1800s England and dead. Yes, I suppose I do. Let me find my pocket watch. Oh, I know that model. Very good and trustworthy instrument. Of course, sometimes it does slow down in particularly cold weather. If there are a few bad winters in a row, you should probably get it examined or else you're going to be running behind. Thank you. I do have some experience in engineering. I was a watchmaker by trade in life, one of the best in the industry, although you probably haven't heard of me. I never was one for fame, or talking to people, or leaving my house, ever. 
I see. For someone who seems to have done so little, how did you end up chained to the mortal world? Well, that's just it, isn't it? I never did anything for anyone else. I cut myself off from the good and the bad parts of humanity. Even when I was given the opportunity to bring a little happiness to the world, I chose not to participate. Yes, I was once also a bit of a hermit. I had the good fortune of having been visited by the three spirits. Perhaps you can help me with something. I had a man, John Hardwick, approach me to repair a family pocket watch and engrave a heartfelt inscription into the back for his son. I performed my job well, and the man was happy with the work. I later learned that he had died in an accident later that day at the Malthus factory. I chose to forget about it, even though a small part of me urged that I tell the man's son about this engraved pocket watch. However, I couldn't be bothered to leave my workplace. I would like his son to have it. I think I can help you with this. Really? I'd be forever grateful. You can find the engraved pocket watch at the Malthus factory. His son's name is Fern. Yeah, I think I ran into that guy. You can find him somewhere here in London City Center. He has many friends and often meets them for meals. More side quests. Yeah, maybe William Adams brought back a wife or two. You can say. Hey, tall lady. Yeah. Oh, that's a new sweet froggin' Castlevania ass guy right there. Oh, okay. I do have the strength to move this giant stone cube. Damn, Ebenezer, what can't you do? Ebenezer Scrooge, Ghost Hunter. There you go. There's a movie somebody will probably make here in the next ten years or so. Double feature with that and Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Yeah, I'm really excited to see uh, what they have for Medusa heads in this game. There are definitely so many things that the Castlevania, the Metroidvania genre cannot be without. Flea men and Medusa heads are one of them. Ooh, a magic hook. Okay. That's gonna require another ghost, it would seem. Get out of here. Uh, this is three exits. Whee! Okay. Ooh, another save room. Okay. I'd love a teleport room. Is there signs that lead to a different area? Some sort of interior. Now let's go back. Ghost of Christmas Grapple Jack, yeah. Something tells me this will not be as fluid as any Grapple Jack. They should do a secret sequel to Grapple Jack. Hello there. Mm. I was really hoping I could kill him in one shot. Yeah, whack it open with your cane. Ooh, a plum pudding. That's a hundred. That's a big heal on the plum pudding. All right. Shame that's all it was good for. Okay, I guess we're not going left at the moment. I'd love to be able to manually mark up this map a bit. Sickle frickin' ghost. Oh yeah, and then there's Grenade Boy. Like you, you get it, Eric. Get off me. I don't like these jack boxes. No, I don't. Just get him. Uh, let's eat these mashed potatoes. Hey there. Leading somewhere. <laughs> hey, what's up, Phoenix? How you doing? Ooh, 
the World's Fair. Every single game that takes place in England, or some sort of England-like, has to have a World's Fair going on. Because that's the only way you can have cool electronic shit going on. So where are we now? Ice skating ghosts? No. No, there will be no ice skating, whether you're ghostly or otherwise. That was dumb. Oh, there's a bunch of you. Die. Again. Yeah, I know what it's like. Feeling kind of sleepy, but also kind of not wanting to go to sleep, but desperately being unable to. You know the feeling all too well, Phoenix. Agnes, your parents are poor, you don't say. Am I knocking these ghosts back? I think I am. Oh, cool, is this just a frickin' ghost door? You see it? Desmo, that's not a bad idea. Maybe like a, a Scrooge v. Grinch steal Christmas. But I feel like they'd have a lot more in common. I feel like they wouldn't need to fight, like Godzilla vs. Kong. But you should probably go patent that before someone like Universal steals it, because that's a great idea. Okay, well, I'm glad we went all the way to the right side of the map for nothing. That was really cool and good. Let's see. Okay, so we can't go up, so let's just keep going left, I guess. There's a cemetery. Yeah, I guess the plan is just go left now. Oh, let's see if we can get that health upgrade, actually. Flea Man! Go away, Flea Man. What is that attached to your back? Is that an axe? Oh my god. If you jump, like, right on the transition frame, you do the whole jump. Japanese clockmaker lady, I'll be back, probably. Let's go left. No! I think I can backdash through him if I time it just right. Yeah! Yeah, this is not faster than walking. They learned from Castlevania's mistake of making the backdash too good, too mashable. I mean, again, you just got these banger ideas. Scrooge verse. Every. What other actors have played Scrooge? Technically, um. Grinch guy. Um. Freaking. Why can't I remember his name? It's not Tim Allen. Why am I thinking Tim Allen? Uh, Jim Carrey. He was Scrooge and the Grinch. Has Tim Allen played Scrooge? Maybe, right? Ah, damn. No, we use the we use Eric for those guys. We don't want this one. Uh, I don't think I want my turkey. Oh, you know what? We could get uh what was that actor? The one who uh who was Garfield. Um Scrooge, that technically counts, right? Yes, he was very Scrooge adjacent in the Santa Claus. Yeah, I want to upgrade my health. Your maximum health is increased. Oh! Well, what the hell's the door for, lady? I thought. Okay, so, oh, now you need crystal glass and Mugwort. Okay, whatever. Fine. Hey, stop that. Okay, so let's go up and left, I guess. Oh my god, do I have to go all the way around? Thank <laughs> you. 
Get off me. Okay, I was like, it feels like I should be able to hit that that platform. Dang it. Yeah, you gotta be real close to back dash through those guys without taking any damage. Okay, glad I went all the way around just for this. And it's a locked door, son of a... Mm. Great. Lovely. Okay. Fine. That's fine. Taking Scrooge on a lovely Christmas Day walk through the cold, wet streets of London. Sorry, but you need to find another station to enter this train. Okay, so we found our ghost train, which I'm guessing is fast travel. Alright. Yeah, frustration is the secret ingredient to Metroidvania, you're right. Die. Alright. Oh! Hello, giant pig. Very Miyazaki-esque, this big pig. Both in art and just the fact that there's a giant ghostly pig. Welcome to Jasper's Wandering Bazaar and Food Court. I'm Jasper. I offer an emporium of curiosities. Feast your eyes on delectable food and rare items from all over the world. You can find foods on one page and rare items on another. Make sure to stock up before continuing on your journey. $65 for mashed potatoes? Burn the city to the ground. Tiny Spirit Elixir. Okay, so that's Spirit Meter and Healing. Got it. Thousand bucks for a glove? Enemies have a 10% chance to drop health.